Yeah, so this week, um, pleased to say Queen Elizabeth House opened in Edinburgh. Now, this is the new UK government hub, which, as I pointed out last week, is going to be a big improvement over what they had up to now, which was a cupboard in Melville Street that the sole employee used to hide in in order to avoid talking to anybody. So it should be a definite improvement upon that. And already, already they've done something amazing, which is several floors of the building on one side have got a big union jack on the windows. So it's like, you know, um, the emblazoned within the glass is this half of a union jack. And it looks out onto the railway that comes into Waverley. So that's a really good British identifier already. If, and if, even if that building did nothing else apart from that, it's already paid for itself in terms of propaganda for the unionist cause. Brilliant idea, whoever came up with that. Brilliant idea. Uh, and it's called Queen Elizabeth House. And it's going to ensure done properly that the UK government is going to have much more of a presence in our capital city. And the good news is there's also going to be one in Glasgow. And I hope that it's central to Glasgow. And I hope that they do the Union Jack stunt on it as well, because it really does raise, it really raises the, um, the morale of us unionists. And people go, oh, it's not all about flags. It's about philosophy as well. Yes, of course it is, but it's also very much about identity and the things which give us meaning, which are tangible things like flags.